Hello everyone, I'm Knight of Squires and this is Crusader Kings 3. As always, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. If not, welcome back. We are, of course, continuing our playthrough as uh, Tunka Menin of Ghana, uh, who is now a 45-year-old adequate bargainer who is forgiving, lustful, and arbitrary. Uh, restricted vassal's movements, he's, they're not hugely happy with him currently, but he's also quite... You know, he's in an attentive, he has attentive care, so he's got a massive health boost. We're all good. He's doing pretty well for himself. Our son and heir, uh, Prince Cambin, uh, Cambin Diareso, Cambin Diareso of Ghana. He is happily married uh, to one of my courtiers, and he already has a, grand, a son and daughter that we can work on there as well as having three siblings because my character has uh you know several kids so we're all good there at this stage we are looking mostly to increase our piety and prestige uh, as we currently don't have a whole heap of either we're looking to invade manding at the end of last session and tarker we can in fact declare war on tarker um, to conquer the county, looking to claim, I think it's Scylla, yeah, Scylla, that one, but that will cost us 150 prestige, which we do not have, so we take a fame penalty for that, or we can raid for captives, which costs us 100 piety, we can do more interesting things with that piety, like, for instance, we could conquer the duchy here, that would again cost 750 prestige, that only costs 117. I don't know. Oh, we have some claims to this land, so you know, it's not awful. But again, it's not quite what we want. What we want is to get rid. Is it's to is to boost up this prestige somewhat. Um, well, we have a new claimant. Uh, of all the buffoonery I have ever seen, in Nian. Nianya Gume Beranin's inane efforts to prove my relations. To improve my relations with my neighbours, my good-for-nothing Chancellor has officially acknowledged Amir al-Umara uh, uh, Abu Bakr's claim to the king county of Kingui, which is the guy of the Almoravid Sultanate, which is, or Grand Emirate, which is not good, because he may in fact uh, come and try and claim this chunk of territory from me. Which I would not appreciate, as you can probably imagine, would not appreciate the Al the Almoravids turning up. So we need to build our fame. It's been swayed. We can probably cease this at that point. We can abandon that scheme. She already loves me. Um we're going to host a feast to get up some of our prestige. We will also lose 30 stress, which um, we actually have none of currently. We have no stress. But it'll cost 200 gold. 200 gold. Call a hunt. That costs 133. Dear Lord. Go on a pilgrimage and get a boatload of piety. Ugh. Yeah, I think we're going to go on a pilgrimage and get some piety so that we can uh, do wars against our own people instead. Lord, that's a lot of gold. But we do generate quite a lot, to be honest. So we can get it back relatively quickly. So let's hold the feast. It does pain me physically. The feast begins. But what it does mean is we'll get a nice bump to our... Um, prestige that we can then use to call call some wars in a in the stew sea in a drunken stumble uh, Debegume Fadiga unlatched an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall savory broth welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew the unsuspecting Cambine Diareso uh, seated next to the cauldron was caught by the rushing wave and loudly cursed his ruined appearance as grease ran down his face. 
Guests rushed to the other side of the hall as the thick mass spread greasy tendrils among skipping feet. So this is an absolute state. Um, curse this mess, I spend 150 prestige. Well, that is exactly not what I wanted. Murders at court, escalation. My acquaintance, Namisis, a uh, Namis, lays splayed out on the cold floor, blood oozing from the multiple stab wounds covering her body. Oh no. Why is this murderer taunting me so? I will pray for the victim, gain 50 piety, double the guards, lose 50 gold, or spend another 150 prestige. Let's pray for the victim, let's gain the piety. I can't afford to do either of the other two things. Murders at court, a confrontation. A letter is waiting for me as I return to my chambers. Ridden in red ink. No, in blood. You will end this search at once. Nothing good can come from uncovering my identity, and I will make sure that nothing good comes your way if you keep trying. This handwriting, it almost looks like that of my concubine, Caddy. <gasps> Caddy, you dishonorable planner. You are gregarious, deceitful, calm, a flamboyant trickster, and hail. I mean, you don't strike me as the sort of person that would do this, but... I've, 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 I don't think it's her. I will confront her. I don't think it's her. And feast, so an ends another feast. All my guests go home satisfied while I remain proud of my display of generosity. That said, uh, Fadiga might carry more shame than satisfaction after overturning the cauldron. Cleaning up will not be cheap. I look forward to welcoming you all back. I lose more gold and I don't gain any prestige. That was the worst feast that could possibly have occurred. A snake revealed. Finally, I have uncovered the truth. The cold-blooded doxy behind my departed wife, Ida's early demise was none other than my concubine, Kadi. Oh, she thought she would get away with this heinous crime, but mark my words, Caddy will pay dearly for her sins. I must plan my next move. Hooks and potential hooks. You've committed murder. You have committed murder. Like, I'm going to blackmail you to get these hooks. I don't think it's going to be worth it because I think I'm about to murder her now. Ooh. You gain the trait sadistic. Caddy becomes my friend? That's weird. Murders at court. Bloody dealings. Um, when I finally track my concubine Caddy down, she does not even try to run. Hello, Tunka Menin, she says, looking, up and da looking me up and down. It is about time you found me. I take it you enjoyed my gifts? The smile that spreads over her face sends a shiver down my spine. We are going for we are going for dread, uh, but I feel like this is a touch evil. Um, I think that's a that's a touch evil. I should probably turn those notifications off. Um, you will be punished for your crime. We imprison her and we get a couple of we, we get those secrets exposed to us an eye for an eye a life for a life we murder her um yep she dies we can just let her go we can go with her getting the trait sadistic which increases our natural dread our intrigue and our prowess and can use hostile schemes against our own children. Oh my lord. Um, or oh I am so sorry. I don't know why that, I don't know what that one is. Um, the plus two intrigue might be nice. Arbitrary, sadistic, and she becomes my friend. She is currently my... I kind of like having her around. But I just don't know if... 
I mean, if she, if she becomes my friend, then she's not going to murder me. And what does it matter at that point? As long as it's not me. Does his own thing and has little regard for others. I don't care what she does to other people. It's just what benefits me. And if she's going to be my friend, then she's not going to murder me, is she? That seems sensible. Let's go with that. I don't need to do this anymore. I have those. I have those secrets. Ah, my wife is pregnant. Perfect. Um, when things are tough, this character always has someone to turn to. Stress gain minus 5%. I have quite a lot of stress... Uh, stress decreasing things. My natural dread is now 80. Like, this is... <laughs> getting a touch out of hand. He is a terrifying person. Thriving in chaos. This I don't have stress i mean i i'm i'm debating it now i'm debating going down here and letting myself get some stress but it's actually quite difficult to to get stressed at this point um so the the that prestige gain did not work in the slightest so we're going to have to go for holy wars at this point um you and i i don't have oh kita spared Despite successfully besieging the settlements of Kita, a fortification protecting swaths of Greater Kita, Fabras uh, Lihalatul Kalabi has restrained his troops. The resulting looting has been isolated and sporadic. Though your vassal has been spared, the Mandingian eye, the Mandingian eye your personal domains hungrily. I curse these meddlesome savages. I lose even more prestige. Uh. If I declare, yeah, well, you've got a truce, so I can't declare war with you. Can I declare war on you? I can declare war on you. That's two provinces. You are of a different religion to me. So the religion is kind of here. I do currently have two of the holy sites. This, going in this direction, would get me a third. Burra gets me a third. So I could declare war for this. For the county. Oh, spouse up to the task. Oh, wow, there's... Do you... You're not currently endorsing me, are you? Oh, mainly because I'm sadistic and unreformed and generally evil. Let's sway her. Well, actually, I can just make her a concubine. Let's take her as my concubine. That's a good start, look. She likes that. And then... Send her a gift. 50 gold! God, she's got expensive tastes. Let's attempt to sway. 68%. There you go. Up to the task. Some of my counsellors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Nyaman when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. My marshal would benefit. Steward would benefit. <laughs> so, he gains 50. Actually, I am trying to get him to like me, so that might work, actually. Um, yes. Let's, let's... Ah, I could have just done that, look. Uh, she likes me now. Oh no, she doesn't like me now. Well, there you go. Now she's going to endorse me. Perfect. Let's declare war on this guy for this. But not for that one. I want the other county you have. Oh, you have three counties? Ugh. Maningjara. And that cost me prestige. Because you're of different faiths. It's against the same faith. Where is the people that are the same faith as me? These guys. Right. You. Who is your ruler? You? Give me that. Give me Kermina. Give it. You have a claim on that. No, because that cost me prestige. I'm just going to declare war. Give me that. Give it. It's mine. I demand it. I want it. It's mine. Um, we've declared war. Let's 
actually check what some of these issues are. You change Prince Bassi's contract, I don't care. You should grant Zoom to somebody, nope, it's mine. Disabled building in Zoom. Um, why is that? Oh, because I don't have tribal. No, go away. Um, I'm in line to inherit. Can call in allies. Titles can be created. Oh, I can create another kingdom. I don't want to do that yet. Um, can call all house members. Declare wars. Yeah. None of those are important to me right now. Raise all armies. Let's unlock a new lifestyle perk. Murder schemes, disrupt schemes, find secrets. Uh, like weeds in the garden. I mean, being allowed to kidnap people is quite fun, but torture... I mean, now that we've gone for sadist, torture does seem like the, the correct direction to be heading. So, I think we're going to go for Dark Insights. Do we have anybody in our prison? We do. I'm going to torture this man. <laughs> Gain 11 stress because I'm sadistic, but I'm also forgiving. But I spend 100 piety. God. Ugh, oh, man. I have a new daughter. Isn't that wonderful? Gosh, that is, that is some ex... Everything costs so much piety. What faction was that that got created? Uh, it's the peasant rabble. I don't care about the peasant rabble. Peasants are never strong enough that I have to care. I can't believe that feast. That couldn't have gone any worse if I tried. That's really frustrating. We are of a noteworthy house. There are nine living members. Oh, Lord. Who are you? My daughter has plus three stewardship. Nice. Well done, daughter. Well done. I am impressed by you. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. I still need a court physician. Like, if I get ill anytime soon, I might just die. Court physician. Uh, the world is full of dangers, even to Omagan and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. Ina is quite experienced. She is a physician, an organizer, vengeful. Uh, this is a sinful trait for me. She's also arbitrary and compassionate. That sounds like an odd combination. And Aua is enthusiastic, if nothing else. She's bisexual. She is calm, greedy, trusting. Skill technician and aggressive. I mean, she's aggressive but calm. Work that one out for me. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Ten piety, not, not great. Sorry, ten, ten learning, not great. Fifteen, much better. But I have a horrible feeling. Um, she might just try and kill me. Like I'm, I'm a little concerned by her. I'm a little concerned by her. We'll, I'm going to go for the other one. Because I don't care if she's any good. I'm just a little concerned that she's going to murder me. I see him as being a relatively selfish man. I see him as being a relatively selfish man, personally. Uh, his arbitrary ways are very much a... Well, you know, I'm a... I'm going to do what's best for me. And, uh, I don't know what the... 
what is the bdism word for hell i don't actually know click to view other face Monday faith. There are only two Siguism and Bideism. Okay. Or Bideism. Um, let's gain architectural expertise. She gains plus one stewardship. She's getting very good at that. Getting very good at the stewardship thing. She is quick, so it kind of makes sense. And my prince has increased his intrigue by one. I'm going to educate you. Are you not being educated? I'm surprised you're not being educated negotiate claim claim title ha huh. that's cool um oh can i not educate you i will offer a guardianship award of the chosen adult nope offer a ward um making him or someone in his court the guardian of chosen no it's this one so i will raise you Will accept. V very much will accept. He's very. Ha plus, he's terrified of me. Which is good. Everybody should be terrified of me. I am terrifying. Look at me. 53.5 dread. I am a terrifying individual. Taco has been swayed. So we can cancel that now. She's, you know, my friend. I took somebody hostage, and therefore, this war is over. And I gain fame. I am above my domain limit. Yes, I understand. I'm okay with that. But, there we go. That is a nice, quick, nice, quick war. Um, you are part of the Duchy of Jen. Do we have the Duchy of Jin yet? Have I made that? Did I create that? No. But you can also have it because you might then make it yourself. So you can have Kermina. And do you know what? Actually, I think I was going to give it to... Oh, no. You've got those two. You can have that one as well. Grant Titans. Pretty certain you will just make the county like the duchy any moment now. Yeah, that's that whole duchy. You can have that. I need to take that off you at some point soon. Are you the guy I just fought? You are. That's unfortunate. Ah, look at this. I guess we'll go on a hunt. To try and gain some prestige that way. You sometimes gain prestige from a hunt. So let's let's do that. Oh dear. My son, Cambin DRSO, went on ahead of the group chasing a hare. I follow close behind and I find him standing above a commoner tugging an arrow out of the poor woman's chest. Jesus. As soon as he sees me, he hides the arrow behind his back. It was the hair, father, I swear. But soon enough, the rest of the party will ca catch up and demand an explanation. Too bad the hair got you both. I kill him. I mean, you're not a great heir, honestly. You're not, you're not great. <laughs> you're, you're not great. I could just kill you. That would be funny. And I lose 10 stress because I'm sadistic. What is going on? Uh, Cambine DRSO fought valiantly to save her. I saw it. Uh, everyone believes me. And he gains protected peasants. Oh, the county gains the protected peasants. And he all participants of the hunt gain 30 opinion of him. Or everyone loses opinion of me. And his murder secret is exposed. We must cover this up. The body remains hidden. Or it doesn't. And he gets a murder secret and somebody finds out. He must answer for his crime, and I get a murder secret against him. Or I just kill him. Who is... Who is going to inherit, if not him? 
Tunka Menin, who currently already owns land. You're a daughter, you're a son, and a vassal. You're a daughter. So Tunka Menin would in fact inherit that, inherit that, inherit that. Then that would... I don't know, uh, that would get wibbly. Um, Tunka Menin... If we just... Prince, I mean, we could just kill him off. It seems... I'm not going to lie. There he goes. We've just, we've just, with the death of the prince, my grandson is now my new heir. I don't think that's what we want. We return home in disappointment, but at least I'm back in positive uh, prestige. <laughs> God, this is not this is not going well, is it? I could just off myself at this point. Why am I playing as his son and not? Can I name him my heir? No. I could grant him independence. That might be funny. Hmm. Free once more. My unruly grandson has been freed from his imprisonment by Emir Kosu of Tibesti. Imprisonment is a cruelty, but he is now safe. He is now safe and free with me. Well, we've become a sadistic murderer, uh, which I did not see. Did not see that being how this character went, but... I guess we're going to lean into the dread at this point. <laughs> we're going to, like, really lean into that now. So, I'm going to... Why is he too far to interact with? Where where are you? Unlanded in Jimmy, Tibetsi. Where is... All the way over there. Why are you all the way over there? Why is that so far away? Why is that too far to interact with? That seems insane to me. So we have some prestige again now. We could go on a pilgrimage um, to gain some more piety. Not that I think there's anywhere that's the same religion now for me to get to easily that I don't already own. Um, R and E. So if we just went E... R, E, R, yeah, I already own that. Um, that's all different, so it's literally just this. That's a Shari. So it's, yeah. Oh, it's there. I can, I can attack you guys. Let's declare war on this guy. Let's expand that way. Seize the chiefdom of Bundu. For 100 prestige. Or conquer the county for 100 piety. Same either way. So. Let's raise all the armies. I can make some more mana arms. Which I might do. Except that it costs me prestige. Oh no it costs me gold. Okay. That's good. Oh yeah I'm not actually tribal. Um, I thought for some reason. I think it's because the, the 867 start is tribal. So let's go and take the county of Bundu. And then we'll be in a better position. God, it's been a bit been a bit of a roller coaster this one already. I can make some light footmen and bowmen. I think we'll just make another unit of bowmen, honestly. Bowmen are pretty good. They've got bonuses in hills, in forests, and in taiga. Um, and we are... What's this? Hills? Uh, forests, which they're also good at. They get plus 4 toughness and plus 4 screen, plus 10 damage. If I can get them in the hills, the archers just absolutely trounce everything. Um, what is this? This is forest, so archers get a bonus. Which is good. Which is good. It is... 
somewhat somewhat insane this session so we will quickly push this war siege of joel was lost oh he's all the way over there Eh, spouse's skills it's gained major architectural expertise god she's doing well my spouse is great i don't think she likes me very much but she is quick she is the wrong religion can i convert you demand that you convert to the to the one true faith there you go so she is my <laughs> she doesn't like me because i'm sadistic but that seems fair to me point is court physician yeah my skilled spy master um dagnoko has proven himself highly capable especially in academic matters there are some projects i would like to undertake in the county of gudimamaka gudimaka my liege with your blessing of course take the reins he gains encouraged improvements uh he gains 20 opinion of me but i spend 75 prestige or no he loses 10 opinion of me what is your opinion of me currently minus five why do you dislike me so much restricted vassal movement i'm arbitrary i'm sadistic there's not a lot i can do about that nope you don't get that you don't get it i'm not wasting the prestige on whatever that was You will accept my faith. Good lad. You will accept my faith. <laughs> you will. Demanded a conversion, but I got ya. I got ya. Oh, look at that. I'm winning. Now we're going to come over here. And kick him out of my land. It's a shame I didn't capture anybody. But, you know. Now getting the ticking war score. And we'll see if we capture anybody in this fight. Being raided, being raided. We're always being sodding raided. And here we go. Oddly enough, I'm expected to win this fight. His soldiers are better than mine, but mine outnumber him f uh, nearly 5 to 1. So, seems unlikely that he's going to win that one. There you go. And now it's just the siege. So we'll just speed up, because sieges take a little while. I'm not overly interested in waiting for the siege. Why? What are you doing? Are you raiding me? Does he call in allies? He hasn't called in any allies. I'm assuming you're just raiding me for the sake of it. No, you're raiding me. You're taking that over for an entirely separate reason. What is going on here? What's going on there? Oh. Ah, I've unlocked a new lifestyle perk. Perfect. Let's... Divine Retribution, you do not lose piety or clergy opinion from torturing. There we go. Now we can start torturing people. Because we get, you're a child. I don't really want to torture a child. You're in house arrest. I can torture you and it doesn't cost me anything. Yeah! Might discover a secret, but I will get some dark insights. Let's torture you. Um, oh, the sweet kiss of the whip. I might look innocent. It might look innocent, but it can separate flesh from bones just as well as any knife. A truth Bathily is soon uh, to experience. He will be sleeping on his stomach for quite some time. Um, he gains recently tortured, and he takes 150 stress because he's craven and has a chance to, to, to become insane. He did not become insane. Thankfully, for her, for his part. Um, let's torture you as well. Ah, 
I gain Dark Insights Intrigue. There we go. I have gained some intrigue. That's cool. That's a, that's, I like that mechanic. And it steadily increases my stress, which if I start taking a breakdown, um, can become even more... Um, even more insane. Because I can... The next lifestyle perk that I take will likely be Thriving in Chaos. Which I think is really good. Dread gained per tyranny. I don't have any tyranny, do I? Do I have any tyranny? I don't know where I see that. Uh, if you know where I can track my tyranny, drop it down in the comments below. Because I don't know. Is it just in here? Like, is it just come up there if you if you have, you know, committed an act of tyranny? Oh, I have 100% war score. Perfect. Let me just enforce demands on that. And we've gained some more fame. I think we're going to call that there for this episode. Um, thank you, as always, for joining me. And if you have enjoyed watching the episode, please consider dropping a like and a comment below. Um, and consider subscribing to the channel to see more content like this in the future. Thank you again, and I will hopefully see you all soon.